Provincial Madonna, Part 1. Why are you so noisy? Forget it. We don't even have water here. Oh, let me put the kettle on. We do have some honey cakes left. You can put the kettle on your head. A hot one, preferably. So tell me what happened. Why is it that you can't share with us? We didn't even get down to sharing. My sister lured away all my boyfriends at the discotheque without even asking me. That's not true. It's not my fault that they were always inviting me to dance and I didn't even like any of them. You see? You see? The queen is talking down to us. Natasha, why are you getting so worked up? She's yeah, a little girl. A little girl who can go a long way. She's nearly 18, and I'll be 30 soon. Who am I going to marry if she keeps stealing all the guys from me? That's not oh. true. I don't need your boyfriends. Oh, my goodness. What guys do you mean? Nadia has just entered college, and she still has to graduate. Let Natasha. Let her sit at home with her books and not go out anywhere. Don't go to the discotheques with me until I get married. You Hush. understand? Hush. Hush, calm down, Natasha. It'll be all right. Oh, I'm just waiting for you. So listen, I want to tell you something. A young specialist arrived at our factory today. We celebrated Mihalik's resignation and took him as a replacement. I asked in the staff department. He's not married. So what? Where is he from? From Makarovsk. He's from an orphanage, but that's for the best. No mother-in-law to interfere with your life. People say mother-in-laws drink young women's blood. Mom, what mother-in-law? Tell me properly, who is he? Where is he from? How old is he? I don't need an old man. Mihalik is a widower, for example. Am I supposed to marry him now? He's very young. He's very young. I'd say about 25. You know what? I was thinking perhaps we should invite him to my birthday. I'm a progressive boss. I want to establish a contact with the young specialist before he finds friends and makes acquaintances here. You'll meet each other. And then it's up to you to decide whether you need him or not for your future. What is his name? Why do you want to know? Well, I guess I was just curious. His name's Sergei, Soraya. That is his last name. So I'm going to be Natasha Soraya? Thank you so much, <sighs> Mom. That's just lovely. Actually, you don't have to change your name after marriage. When Angelina Jolie married Brad Pitt, she didn't want to change her name. <clears throat> Slavka! Hey, Slavka! Slavka, give it to me! They won't let me into class without a hat! They'll mark me absent! But my conscience will wake up if you kiss it. How would you kiss your conscience, huh? Well, just kiss me and I'll pass it. <laughs> hey, what are you doing here? Oh, Slavka, the anatomy class is going to start now! Will you kiss me now? Go kiss Slavka instead. He's craving kisses, you know. Ah. <sighs> Hmm. 
No, Zena. What's hanging out there? And this sticks out. All right, trust me. Light disarray is very trendy now. Uh-huh. This is like crazy bedhead. And I'm not into messy hair. Men love naturalness. Let's say you're naturally beautiful. You wake up and you're already looking amazing. <laughs> no. I don't wake up like that. <laughs> Just don't let anybody know before the wedding. <laughs> Listen, come to my place in the evening. Petka's having friends for a party. They're single. Vadim Shermnev's coming. He dumped Gaga, so he's single. No, I won't be chasing after Vadim. I'm tired. Let somebody chase after me. Anyway, I can't. It's my mother's birthday. And a man's coming over. Who? How come I don't know? <laughs> a new guy from the factory. He imposed himself, and my mom couldn't refuse, and he's single. All right. Let me use some gloss, then, so you'll shine. <laughs> Nadia! Yeah? Take our main dish from the second shelf. Uh-huh. Just be careful. It's Czech glass, after all. Oh, well, if you're using the main dish, it's really a first-class dinner, Tatiana. It's not a milestone. It's not here. Oh, <gasps> you look beautiful, Natasha. Natasha, where is our Czech dish? You were the last to hide it. Uh, it's down there with the vases. Take it out, then. Help us at least. Natasha, we're working so hard for you, truly. No, I'm not doing it. I've just done my manicure, and I need to change. I'll get it. Look. Put on that pretty suit that I bought you so you'll look young and chaste. That's exactly what serious men look for in a woman. It's as if I were old without it. Thank you, Mom, for making me feel like a jerk. If you gave birth to Nadia first, I would never be nagged. Age isn't the most important thing for a woman. Even 40-year-olds get hitched, if they're gentle. As for you, Natasha, you should watch your tongue, or you'll scare the men. Nadia, you go change too, dear. Polina and I will finish here without you. You should put on your checkered dress. But, Mom, that's a dress for little girls. Please just obey and go and change. You're supposed to look like a little girl, or Sergei will accidentally pick you instead of Natasha. <gasps> Listen up. You'll sit with us for a while and then go away. Got it? Mm -hmm. I've made pastries for you to enjoy. Have some if you get hungry. Oh, you look so good. Look at you, beautiful, beautiful. Mm. Well, all right. Go open it. I'm not going. And why is that? Let him see me from a distance first, beyond reach. And then we'll meet face to face. Uh, I'll get it. You go to get the jelly. Okay. Oh, okay. <gasps> Good thank evening. Thank you. And a very happy birthday. Oh, thank you. These are such beautiful tulips. <sighs> I apologize for not knowing what to give you, uh, but a book is a great gift. Oh, thank you. <gasps> this is by Harold Hanish. Oh, yeah. These books are right up Nadia's street. <sighs> then it's for you. I'm Sergey. Nadia, pleased to meet you. I've been dreaming about reading this book for a long time, but it was always too expensive. Do you like fantasy? <laughs> yes, because she's still a little girl. She only likes books. <laughs> well, go already. Go on. Hmm. Mom? Huh? Why are you stuck out here? Oh, just chatting. Sergey, a technologist from our factory, is here to wish me a happy birthday. <laughs> He's new, so he knows no one in our area. 
Natasha. I'm extremely pleased to meet you. <laughs> well, likewise. <laughs> Come on in. Huh. All right, then. Why are you still here? Put these flowers in some water. Sergey, this is our neighbor, Polina Markovna. We're almost family. We're all so close, every one of us. Now, have some oh, jelly. The eggplants are my signature dish. The oblong pastries are with cabbage. The round Thank ones you. are with potatoes. Thank you. Oh, you're attacking him. You'll have a chance to boast about all your cooking skills soon. Let the man decide for himself. Would you maybe pay attention to me? Uh, and how would I do that? <laughs> I like it when someone pays attention. <laughs> well, I think it's high time we drank for the birthday girl. <laughs> Sergey, pour us some, please. No, no, uh, Nadia's drinking juice. It's there right. in the jug. She's sure. still too young. <laughs> and I'll have the juice. <laughs> really? Why aren't you drinking? Are you on the wagon? <laughs> no, I just don't drink wine is all. <laughs> well, here's to the health of the best workshop manager. Working under such supervision is pure pleasure. Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> Thank you! Hooray! Thank you! So tell me, why aren't you drinking? Is it health problems? No, not at all. It's all right, I'm healthy. I grew up an orphan, and most guys were from alcoholic families, and they told me a lot of stuff, and I promised myself I wouldn't drink, so I wouldn't let my son down. Oh, so do you have a son? How old? Where is he? No, but I will in the future. I'm not even married yet. <laughs> what about your parents? Uh, I don't know anything about them. I'm a doorbell baby. I've oh, only had a family uh, in my dreams. Uh, well, I had that recurring dream, a big warm room, a dining table with pastries, and the family were all together, you know? <laughs> At least that's how I've always imagined it. Yeah, a family needs a strong man. Uh, it's hard for a woman when she's alone. No one to hit. And no one to hug. Is it tasty? Natasha uh, cooked everything. Uh -huh. Natasha, are those your danglers? I'm so tired of them. You know, Sergey, she gets so many offers and she rejects everyone. She's waiting for her true love. But, Mom... I'll show them what I think. They will learn. Oh, the pig ran away. The hot meal is ready, so I'll go get it. Be right back. Mm -mm. You don't like fantasy, right? But someone does. Mm. What is he gonna... talk about with Natasha anyway? Hmm, Patapich? Mom? Yeah? Give me your blue scarf. The blue one with flowers. Why are you putting on so much makeup today? It's going to melt off. Yeah, but I'll get attention. That's right, yes, everyone will notice. But not everyone <laughs> will want to marry you, Tasha. Are you going out with Sergey now? With Sergey, yeah, who else? You forced him on me, and now we're going everywhere. Mom, I'm trying to finish getting ready here. Why are you grinning? Is it better to go there alone? Stop dragging him around discotheques. Invite him over. You'll dance your happiness away. Yeah, I'd dance it away with him. But he's boring. He doesn't drink or smoke, so I don't have any fun. He asked if I'd like a coffee, and that's it. He hasn't told me a single amusing story or an anecdote. I can't even have a fight with this guy. Anyway, why would I invite him? We haven't even kissed yet. Okay, but what do you talk about? Mom, it's mostly about books, so we're like school children. Oh, were you talking about this? By the way, you shouldn't say that about books. It's interesting to talk about good books. Why do you care, you boring bookworm? And don't you even dare look at my groom. 
I will hex you if I see you flirting with him. You'll remain an old lady forever. Hey, why do you talk like that? Nadia hasn't done anything bad against you. Hide your teeth before the wedding, at least. Or Sergei will see you for who you are and run off. You know what? Stop lecturing me. I'm gonna have a husband, even if I have to settle for boring. <laughs> Nadia, bring the pastries and see if they need anything added. Go on, I'm losing my breath already. I'm tired of dancing. <laughs> one, two, three, one, two, three. Where's she going? <laughs> Don't mind her. <laughs> one more Cheers. time. Oh, oh, she got lifted. She got lifted. Whoops. What's with me? Everyone's discussing what a quirky woman Natasha is. She got her hands on that orphan so quickly. Oh, I know. I feel so sorry for him. Mm -hmm. He's a good man, people say. Mm -hmm. He doesn't drink. He's read all the books in our library. <laughs> <laughs> if you ask me, he'd be a far better match for Nadia. Yeah. <laughs> Natasha's mean. She has a cold, scandalous character, and she's got herself a fine man who she doesn't <laughs> deserve. Mm. Oh, who will my Masha marry? <laughs> she's not exactly uh, skilled. Uh, Natasha's like her mother. They're both mm -hmm. money-minded. They're celebrating the wedding in the yard like it's after the war. <laughs> she could have rented a cafe or organized everything in the factory canteen. Tatiana keeps saving money for something, and we're like her slaves. This is ridiculous. My you God. got that right. <gasps> Mom uh, asked me to go out and get some pastries, but I see that you guys are bringing uh -huh. in the cake. That's fine. I'll get pastries since not everyone likes sweets, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> Here's the dessert that's going to certainly sweeten up your mood, everyone. Oh, oh yes, she's right. Drink? Okay, it's time. Oh my goodness, I'm Pay so excited. Everyone, oh, please delicious. kiss her. Kiss her. Kiss her now. Kiss her now. Kiss her now. One, kiss her. One, two, two. three. <laughs> oh. Bravo, congratulations. How about a drink? Uh, I don't drink. This looks Masha, so will you try the pie? What's the use of pie yes, if the wedding hungry. is so stale? I mean, this is a bummer. And I'm bored because there's barely any dancing and they're lame. What's your point? That means the newlyweds won't be happy, you know? Why is everyone so angry? Come on, Sergey, have a drink. You haven't even toasted to our happiness. I want to see my husband drink for once. Yeah, I'll have something, honey. Tea with milk. Oh, you're so boring. I can't even. Uncle Valia, come on! Play now! Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Sergey, since you don't drink, I'm gonna have fun for the both of us. Is that cool with you, man? All right? Oh. Ah. Nadia, would you dance with me? No, Slavka, I can't. I'm the hostess today. You should taste the cake. I promise you, it's so delicious. <laughs> Come on, let's dance. dance. Come yeah, on. sure. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Sergey, taste the cake. It's pigeon milk, my favorite. Of course I will. Nadia, come here. Enough dancing already. Come here. Stay at Polina Markovna's place tonight. What for? So you don't bother the newlyweds on their wedding night. Mm, as you wish. Yes, as I wish. Now get going, all right? Now, go. <laughs> Go to bed. Well, now may the bride see the groom in her dreams. <laughs> Good night to you. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I forgot my sleeping pills. But what happened? Hmm? You should be happy that your sister got married. Are you afraid? You shouldn't be. It's clear that he's a good guy. He's been here for such a short time and everyone knows him already. He has hands and a heart of gold. He helps and never takes a penny. He fixed my sewing machine. He was able to make it work. All right, now sleep. 
With a special feeling, I am awarding this diploma to our very best student, to our graduate, and it's not just any diploma, it's a special diploma, with honors. Congratulations to you, Nadia. Here you go. Bravo. Mm -hmm. Let me have a look at that lovely diploma. How do you manage? Here's your I'm rose. content with having just a C average. <laughs> you should be content with men's attention and not a diploma. Oh, well, you're cheeky, aren't you? Uh. Valerie Sabanov. <laughs> nah, I'm talking about Valerka, and he's inviting you to the discotheque tomorrow, you know? Yeah? Why didn't I know that? Uh, well, he lost the words, you know, and so he hired me to be his translator. Congratulations, young man. Are you gonna pick us up? Uh. Don't pick me up, though. I'm not going. Vyacheslav Kosherguin. Nadia, come on. Natasha's already married. You're free to party now. Mosh, I told you I can't come. But why not? You have a diploma now and the world is yours. Okay, look, the ones I like don't go to the discotheques. Who do you like and why don't I know about Stop it? Stop it. Oh, my dad is gonna give me hell for going. He comes home drunk and makes scenes, so I can't tell him anything. Hold on, why don't we go to the city together? I'll enter the medical university. You'll work in the hospital for a year, and that way I'll help you with your studies. But you're staying to help your mom. What you're saying doesn't even make any sense. Anyway, how are you gonna live and study there? You don't have any money, Nadia. Listen, don't worry. I'll find a way to earn something as a nurse on night shifts. Or in a kindergarten with kids. You know, I'm coping with Misha really well. And our teacher says I'm an absolutely exceptional aunt to my nephew anyway. Go on then, you exceptional aunt. <laughs> Hi. Hello, Botovich. Nadia. Hello, did you miss me? I did. <laughs> Okay, here we are now. All right, let's go, let's go. Do you know how let's much eggs inside. cost, by the way? And yet you're eating scrambled eggs, and your books cost a lot. And what books, Natasha? I haven't bought a book in forever. The books I brought were given to me by the library, okay? Oh, so you'll bring home garbage from the dump. You know that the factory is in debt, and they're not paying much. At least we're getting paid something and not nothing. I think we have a lot to be grateful for. Everyone gets paid badly, but must we live like it? My daddy is home! Daddy is home! <laughs> daddy! Oh! Potapich has come home! Ah. Da -da 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 -da. ah! You're here now. Why did you bring him home so early? Couldn't you walk around outside with your nephew? And can't you see I don't have anything ready yet? He's going to be in the way. Why are you squeezing him? You should take his boots off. Wash his hands. Anyway, why is my sister picking the baby up? Doesn't he have a father? All right, Potapich. Do you want to go wash your hands? And you're still wearing your boots. Let's go outside and play ball before it gets dark, okay? What a stupid nickname for him. His name's Misha. Call him Misha from now on! Ready? Catch it, Potapich! I'm Misha! All right, catch it, <laughs> Misha Potapich! Right here, let's go! <laughs> yeah! Oh, yeah! Now, give me five here. Here we go, and... Bah! <laughs> yeah! I'm the best ah! player ever! <laughs> That's right! When are you going to earn decent money? This is not a job. Your salary is a joke. Other husbands take their wives to the sea, while you... You're ready to work for anyone for free. You better find a job on the side instead. We need to change the bed sheets now. I'm sick of sleeping on dirty ones. They're the old ones from our wedding. Natasha, why are you upset? <sighs> the director promised that the factory is going to make a profit. They'll raise the salary Ugh. soon. You're from an orphanage. You don't need much. You haven't seen a good life. You'd be happy if they gave you an extra shift. What?
can't sleep? Mm-hmm. I get it. Natasha's droning like a drill sergeant. At least she didn't wake Potapich. Oh, but she's just very tired from working on her feet the entire day. I'm earning as much as I can. I don't drink, I don't smoke, I won't steal for anything in the world, and I got into the habit of helping people in the orphanage. Helping for no money. You can't live the other way. Is it my fault I'm an orphan? Look, I didn't choose this fate when I joined your family. I only wanted some comfort. I understand. And Natasha understands. It's just her nature. She loves it when everything is done by her rules. Everything will work out. <laughs> I'm not so sure. I chose the wrong wife. Why complain now? We, we have, have Potomac. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Nadia. I'm going to leave here so I can earn money. I'm sick of these scandals. Anyway. Sergey, take oh. the pastries with you. Nadia baked them for the road for you. It's as if you're going to the edge of the world. Oh, they're still warm. Where is she? Well, she ran away somewhere, and she made me pack them for you. Too bad. I wanted to say goodbye. Just don't forget to say a real goodbye to your wife. <laughs> Will you walk me to the bus stop? Oh, what's the point? You're not leaving forever. Here, take this bucket. Thanks. Wow, it looks really cool. Yeah, you can share. Thank you. Here, I want a toy like that. Maybe my mom will get it for my birthday. Hey, check this out. Here, permission? I'll go call him. No, there's no need. I'm leaving now. He'll get sad and start crying. As you wish. This? Or like this? Actually, I have beautiful legs, so we could make it shorter. Nadia, why are you so quiet? The length is important. What time is it? Why are you getting distracted with the time? Come on, look at me right now. What haven't you seen there, huh? On the street, the same old bus stop. Nadia, stop enjoying the view and just look at me. I'm cutting it. Nah, I don't really like tea. It's just for gargling guts. Milk's on a much different level. And also, Kids drink milk all the time, and they grow up strong, man. We get sick because we don't drink milk, you know? Mmm. Mmm. Natasha makes some great pastries, bro. I had no idea she had such great talent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Natasha's sister's the one who made them. Oh, Nadia? That's right. Mm -hmm. Someone's gonna get lucky there, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Sashka, tell me, how's the job going? Mm. It's all good. I talked to the foreman. We're going there tomorrow, man. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. And the boss loves multitaskers, too. Meaning? Mm. Mm. Meaning those who can, you know, do everything. Right? <laughs> so you'll for sure get your job and a rest from your vibe. <laughs> but it's a shame I'm not going to see much of Misha, you know? He's growing up. He learns a new word or something else every day. He just came and said, Dad, can you tell me, is Pish a plate? <laughs> he said Pish? Uh, Pish. <laughs> that's a, that's yeah, a dish. Was funny. Yeah. It was. <laughs> yeah, that's rich, man. <laughs> I don't want him to grow up without a father like I did. If Natasha's a good mom, then I'm a farmer. Why are you with her then, bro? Because of Misha. Now I left and abandoned him. 
I'm glad Nadia's there. They're good, right? <laughs> Masha! Nadia, thank God you're here. What's the matter? Uh, it's just that my father's shouting that my mom and I live off of him. My mom tweaked out too. She forbade me to go to the discotheque. Can you imagine? Can you hide this dress? I'm gonna tell them that I'm out with you, but I'm actually gonna be there. That's right. You should go to discotheques. Take Nadia with you. You must have time. Both for work and for groom hunting. That's a priority. But the discotheque's on Saturday, and Sergei's coming then. What of it? He's coming to Natasha. He's her husband, so I don't understand. Well, I just haven't seen him in a while. He'll be fine. You should go now with Masha. Let them be together. Uh, well, all right. All right, bye. See you Saturday. Bye. See you Saturday. All right, that's it. Why are we working? It's lunchtime. Hello to you. Hello. Hello, Lily. Uh, As you can see, we've just finished the walls. Ah, oh, that's wonderful. Was there enough wallpaper, huh? I promise you there'd be some left, though. And here it is. Hmm, <laughs> <laughs> Sergey, do you need some wallpaper for another project? Well, thank you. I could use it. Mm. <laughs> uh, Lilia, can I... Can I finish early today? I want to... What? Go home before Misha falls asleep. Uh, and the molding? Uh, I'll deal with the molding. It's more convenient for me to work alone anyway. <laughs> well, in that case, you can go right now then. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. It's okay, wait. Take this, bro. Thank you so much. All right, man, bye. See you soon, yeah. See you right, Monday. Then. So then Misha is his son? Yeah. Is he married? Complete with a mother-in-law. That's a pity. He's so young and he's already fully packed. Where shall poor girls find grooms since you all get married so early? Well, not, not all of us. <laughs> I can show you my clean passport if you like. No, thank you. You're not my type and I only like the quiet, thoughtful ones. Well, I guess I'll keep practicing my thing. have to rush home. The night's still young. Right. You can't walk right next to me? Am I that sexy? Yeah, <laughs> you are. Natasha, please, say yes and come, come to a party at Petka's house with me. Uh, Let's go. Well, if it's not for too long. <sighs> Hello? What are you doing out there? You out of your mind? Sergei is home, so get inside right now. Mom, I'm not even doing anything. I can see you, and all that you're doing. If you don't come now, I'll take money from Sergei on my own. All right, I have to go. She's not even my mother-in-law. Yet she ruined my night.
please close the door? Are you out of your mind or what? Right in front of the house? If Sergei saw, you'd be left alone with the baby. That's not true. He'll never have the guts to really leave me. Trust me. He may have no guts, but he has self-respect. If you're going to cheat on him openly, you'll be left without a husband, you know. Come on, Mom. He's from an orphanage. He has nowhere to go. A man will always find a place to live with a lonely woman. <sighs> Who could he be of use to with his earnings? Women aren't so stupid, and he hasn't earned enough to have self-respect. He'll be here until I choose to kick him what out. What if I kick you out? What will we live on? Natasha, you must think. Well, I'm not kicking him out yet. But if Vadim seriously offered me shelter... Oh, you're such a fool. He won't need you like that. Because men like Vadim never get married. What the heck are you doing in Nadia's room? I'm just hanging wallpaper. But why do that? Misha loves playing here and he dirtied it before. I'm sure he'll dirty it once again. He's a kid and you're just wasting money on him. I didn't buy it because I got it for free. I didn't spend a penny. I brought you some money. Is this all? I just started, so yes, that's all. I don't really care what job you got this time. If you're a man, you're supposed to bring home enough money to provide for the family. Don't you know that? Daddy! Hmm? You woke him up. It's my turn. No, guys, I've had enough dancing. <laughs> Why don't we dance while your guards aren't looking? Don't even think about it. He's got two left Go hands. invite the janitor broth for all I care. Go on, all get All right, boys, why hey, are we fighting? OK, get go on, go on, go on, go on. She turn. doesn't want to dance with you, OK? Oh, for God's sake. Oh, OK, there it is. Oh. <laughs> oh, God. Look, I said to go with Valerka and Slavka to drink some wine. Are you out of your mind? If your dad smells it, you're dead. Oh, he won't smell anything. He's drunk, too. Look, if you're really so worried, we can go and chew on some tea leaves. No, Masha, I'm not coming. You're not coming? So this is what a friend you are to me, then? They're all inviting you, but you don't need it. You'll have more at school, Nadia. What about me? I have a drunk father, and I'll spend my life giving jabs to old ladies at the clinic. Valerka doesn't even look at me. Oh, please, this is my chance. I am begging you, Nadia. Oh, please. But what chance? To drink wine with them? What chance? Yes, that chance. That very chance. Look, I'll take you to Slavka, and I'll be with Valerka. We'll all have a drink there. One thing will lead to another. Wouldn't he want to kiss me when he gets something to drink? I think so, and I'll take it from there. Anyway, if you won't come with me, we're not friends anymore. Are we clear? Masha, but I really can't go. All right, lovely ladies, it's time. Well, wine time, Nadia. No, guys, I can't <laughs> go. Come on, come wine on, treatment on. is the only treatment. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> come on, let's go. <laughs> It's time to close. It's 12 uh, Don't already. worry, we're leaving. Good night, Polina Markovna. Nadia, you're here. Sergey has returned. I saw him walk from the bus stop. You should go home. Hmm. Guys, I need to go home. Don't spoil the fun. Nadia, I'm just asking you this once. All right. I just need to use the bathroom. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be waiting for you, OK? Uh-huh. All right, I'm going to bed, but wash the plate. Uh-huh. You fry his cutlets, so you do his dishes. Calm down, I'll wash it. Oh, sure. He came, hung wallpaper in Nadia's room, and put the baby to bed. Then he ate and washed his plate. Oh, it's as if you don't have a wife of your do own. Do I have a wife? 
My wife's kissing other men in the middle of the street. I find it really tacky. Ah, <laughs> Sergey. It's just laughable to hear. What are you even saying, dear? Well, it's certainly not laughable to watch. So what? I'm a young woman here, after all. If my husband doesn't hug and kiss me, there'll be others who will. Okay, good for them. You won't stay alone. But I am not a team player. Let them take my place. Are you trying to scare me with your threats? You know what? I'm not easily scared. Shut your mouth. Sergey, Sergey, where are you going? Where are you going? You'd better go to bed. Hmm? The two of you will make peace. Oh. Please look after Misha, okay? Oh. Sir. Sergey, where are you going? What happened? It all happened when I married Natasha. I can't stand it. I've been tolerating, but I can't anymore. But me and Potapich? I'm not gonna leave Potapich. I'll be visiting him. Just tell him that I left to earn some money, okay? Hold on. You've only just come for a bit today. Can you wait at least until tomorrow to leave? Just tell me what happened already. It's a long story. I'm gonna end up missing the last bus. Sorry, Nadia. I have told you to calm down. Now, please. If you're having affairs on the side, you must be careful. This is not like fighting your mother who has to tolerate you. Oh, he's just freaking out. He's gonna man up and come back. You know him. He's quiet and he's not leaving. What if he doesn't come back? What if he finds someone else? It was a mistake to send him off to earn money. We were managing somehow. We aren't that hungry, you know. I don't want to be managing somehow, and I don't want to be happy but without food. You won't be happy when we have nothing to eat. When was the last time he came and he never called? He definitely found someone else. Oh, stop trying to scare me. Here, he transferred us some money. And you're telling me about another woman? Now I know there's no other woman. This money is from Misha's father. You still have no husband. I'm perfectly happy with this situation. He's not here, but he's still sending money. I got married without love, and I have no intention to see his dull face more often than necessary. Trust me, I know the exact face that you like to see. If you do, you should be happy for me. Hmm. Sure, whatever. <sighs> Remember what I said. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're so crazy. <laughs> Hello in here. Hello. Uh, where is everyone? There wasn't a lot to do, so they sent me. We've already finished. Oh, but I wanted to treat everybody. Well, that's nice of you. I had to show my appreciation. So you'll have to eat it and drink it all alone. Well, I won't say no to food. <laughs> <laughs> I'll lay out the tablecloth. Open up the wine for us. Uh... <laughs> or maybe vodka? No, I don't drink, but I'm more than happy to open something for you, though. Uh, I won't drink either, then. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, well. You won't be able to toast to the repair because of me. Uh, we'll toast with water. It'll be purer. Here's to you, to our pleasant acquaintance. Don't be shy, I'm really pleased with the job you've done. My husband didn't know how to do anything, but he was very good at lying when I met him. I suffered for three years with him, but then I divorced him. Nowadays, I like to spend my time with people who don't drink. <laughs> and where do you work? At a salon down the street. Ah. I'm a hairstylist. Well, I do male haircuts, too, and I, I just noticed that you should get one. Would you like me to give you one right now? It would be free of charge. Excuse me, but aren't you bothered that I'm married? 
No. I've made inquiries about you, and the way that you are doesn't count. <laughs> I guess Sashka told you about my wife, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you know, sometimes we fight, yeah? One of us says a cruel word, and the other responds with the same. One says a crueler word, and the other pushes even further, causing a bigger fight. It's the fault of the both of us. I left, but leaving a family isn't just moving, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm not being clear. You're being very clear. Excuse me. I have to go. But thank you so much. <laughs> Can I walk with you? We're already here. Yeah, but riding's more fun than walking. Here we go. Huh? Of course you say we, you know. We. <laughs> uh, Hey, ah, uh, here we go. Here's uh, grass for you. <laughs> All right, bye, kiddo. Hello Thanks there. so much. Huh. Hello. Go. Hey, Nadia, let's go to the movies. No, Slavka, sorry, I can't. I need to walk with Misha and give Polina a daily shot. But thanks for the offer, though. Yes, and then the horse he took me on his back. <laughs> Nadia, come on. No. <laughs> Why not? No, Slavka. Oh, uh, please. Uh, but we'll have such a good I time. I said I can't go. Come on. Miss Grigorievna. Hello, Sergey. So I'll see you later. Oh yes, you will. <laughs> Alexandra, it's so good to see you. I was going to come by. Well, I'm here now. <laughs> <laughs> How are you in the orphanage? It's here. all right. Maria has resigned, so I'm the director now. Feel free to come and visit us. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad to see you. <laughs> You've made a good choice. I know Lilia, and I go to this salon a lot. She's great at her job. A pleasant person, and a beautiful woman. <laughs> Good, I like her too. I bet. Otherwise, you wouldn't be kissing her in the street. <sighs> it's complicated. You see... Have you forgotten math? How are math problems solved, my dear? Simplifying. Yeah. It's easy to be alone, and easy to simplify for yourself. Stop beating around the bush. To make a long story short, I'm married. Okay, where does Lilia come in? I'm married in Zarubino. Is it... is it a new form of marriage? A family of local significance? <laughs> Don't joke. In a way, it is a family of local significance. It never worked out for me, and I don't feel guilty. It's a house of cruelty and scandals as well. So you left, and you came here? Yep, I left and came here. Well, why do I have to pull every word out of you, Sergei? Alexandra, don't think that way. I wish I could have married Lilia a long time ago. I can see that she's nice, beautiful, hardworking, and generous. Why didn't I meet her right away? And now... A baby. A son. Misha. I chose a mother for him, but she's an awful mother. If I leave, he'll be an orphan. I wouldn't wish living there on anyone. Would you wish to live in scandals and hatred? Sergei, I'm sure you're not going to stop loving your son. Besides, Lilia doesn't seem like the wicked type of daughter-in-law. I just hope you're thinking this whole thing through entirely. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yes, well. 
She's not going to give you the sun now. But he'll grow up and come to you to study. And you need a family. More than others, perhaps. What are you doing here? I've given Polina her shot. Now we can make it to the cinema on time, huh? Let's go. Or the tickets will go to waste. Listen, Slavka, will you act like a good person to make me like you? Oh, come on, what is this? I am a good person, so you should like me. All right, we'll see. You're taking this ticket. And listen, I want you to generously hand it over to Masha and say it's from Valerka. Oh, yeah? I'm taking this ticket and bringing it to Valerka. I'll run and tell him to take his seat and that there's a surprise for him. I just hope that he listens to oh, me. Oh, to you? He'd run on his naked feet. Why naked feet? He wouldn't waste time lacing his shoes up. Let's go then. Well, hold on. There are no more tickets. We won't be able to go to it. That's fine. I don't mind. I'm fine. Forget the movies. Will I get anything at all for this act of mercy and humanity from you? Well, a good deed is a reward in itself. Yeah, a reward in itself. In addition, will you give me... A little kiss? All right, if it works out for Valerka and Masha, I'll give you a kiss then. <laughs> it's a promise. <laughs> You're surely brave. The door's wide open. What is there to steal? My old worn shoes? Oh. Why are you so sweaty? Were you running? I was buying bread just now. Perka said that he'll be early today because his mother is coming. It's her birthday, but it's me who has to lay the tablecloth. I forgot the bread, so I just dropped by. <laughs> went yesterday to buy a present for my mother-in-law. If I bought anything here, she'd know how much it's worth, and then she'd give Perka hell. She'd say that her own son can spend some money on his mother once a year. I put a sweater there and tore off the label. She'll think I paid like 5000 for it. She's not so stupid to think that you paid 5000 to buy a sweater for her. <laughs> oh, I don't care about that. I just hope she doesn't start nagging. What's the sweater like? Can you show us? What does the sweater have to do with it? I didn't come for that. I was going to get bread, but I saw Sergei. Well, he's earning money there and everyone knows. Yeah, that is true. But not everybody knows what's really going on. If I had seen him with Sashka, I wouldn't have said a word. But he was with some dolly. She was gorgeous, even if all painted. She was dressed very well and had a nice rack. She was walking and just literally leaning on Sergei. It's not true. I couldn't believe my eyes. Zinka! It wasn't him. Oh, really? I know what I saw. Fine, you don't have to believe me then. Are you sure? Uh-huh. The point is that they're in love. They just can't take their eyes off each other. And it's not my problem if you choose not to believe me. But I had to come. I couldn't bear to tell you over the phone. Oh, dear. All right, I have to go. Mm -hmm. Your mom doesn't know a thing about life, huh? Mother, stop it. Are you serious? Do you need a roasted rooster? What should I do? <sighs> you should go to Makarovsk and fix it right now. Okay, fine. I will do that. Uh-huh. Show your skill at least once in your lifetime. Mm, mm. Natasha, you're going to visit Sergey? You were eavesdropping? You have no life of your own. So you butt into mine? I would hear you even if I didn't want to hear you. Just don't start screaming at him. Are you going to lecture me now? Find your own damn husband. And then you'll decide whether to scream at him or not. Don't be mean. If you scream at him, you won't be getting him back that way. Try... try to be gentle and humane and... Uh, here, take this and give it to him. What is that? Fantasy, and he really likes this book. He should be happy to see his wife, not those stupid books. You're both crazy. You're total weirdos. I can't understand how two adult people Natasha, can... do you really want to lose him? You need to realize that he must want to come back himself. So then, fish like hooks and Sergei likes books? Mm-hmm. All right, I'll do it. I'll take this and get in his favor. <laughs> Oh. 
Oh, hello, Natasha. Where's my man? Uh, he's not here. He's not here? Where is he? Uh, he went for a walk, I think. Right, for a walk. That's cute. It's a lie. But that's nice of you. I'll wait for him here, thank you. Where is his bed? Uh, I mean, he slept on the folding bed that was right there. And where's the folding bed? Where else? He folded it back up. Oh, you're not a good liar. But I'm not a naive woman, after all. I'm just going to sit down here and wait until my husband comes back from his refreshing walk. I could be waiting long. You can do whatever you want. And you can get the folding bed for yourself. Natasha, please understand. He's my friend, okay? Friend? That means you have to care about his happiness then, right? He has a wife, a house, and a son. He went to earn money. Not to have fun with the girls. Give me his address and I'll go. But why his address? Just call him on the cell phone and yeah, he'll tell you everything, okay? If I call, that would let him know I'm warning him. I want to catch him red-handed. In the act. Don't you dare call him. Just deal with it on your own. He lives in apartment 12. On Krasnopurdnaya mm. Street. Mm, great. Thank you. Now we're talking. Mm -hmm. Hey, Sergey, she's coming. You're living well. Not poorly. Hi, Natasha. Well, you don't care much about how I'm doing. Natasha, why are you here? Because I'm curious about how you are living, and I can see that it's not bad. Now, it's all very clear to me. You have no desire to come back. I have no desire for you, your drama, and your scenes. It's worse than poverty. Oh, wow. But I'm not making a scene. I'm talking calmly. Now get ready so we can go home. I have no home. I'm an orphan. Oh, do you want my pity? Are you capable of pity? Okay. We picked you off the street and invited you in. I gave you a son, by the way, and now you're saying that I can't pity anyone? If you don't want to live with me, then think about our son. I'm thinking about our son all the time. I also send you money. I want a divorce. A divorce? Are you, you crazy, man? I mean, don't live with us if you don't want to. We'll live apart. But why get a divorce? I'm sorry, but we have to get a divorce. I've fallen in love and I'm going to marry her. So, you're not coming back to me? Even if I... Natasha, there's no if. You and I are over. I mean, we're completely done. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. You've set your eyes on a palace here in the city. On this gaudy, cheap dolly with no children. It's so good to live with everything that you've always wanted, right? All you orphanage kids are so grabby, aren't you? And I was such a fool to, to get a present for you. Here, you can go choke on your book. Three-room flat, new furniture, and a fancy imported kitchen to boot. Uh, I wonder where a lonely woman got all that stuff from. People say they have tickets full of tips by the evening. I told you, girl, didn't I? Stop reminding me how you told me. You made me marry him. And now I'm left here all alone. And now everyone will know the truth. Never mind what the neighbors have to say. How are we going to survive without any money now? If the divorce is happening, we have to think of something for your alimony. Oh, and the worst thing is that they're paid under the table for repairs. Oh, good Lord, we're screwed. Mom, Natasha, come on. You know Sergei loves Misha, and so he'll be sending him some money. Oh, you bet he will, but he won't ever see his son. You watch, girl, and then I'll just be another single mother. Oh. <laughs> What's that delicious smell? Meet a la orphanage. <laughs> Here you go. What's the recipe? It's very simple. The main thing you need is meat. 
You chop it and you put it into a saucepan and throw in everything you can find. Stop, 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 stop. As you wish, my dear. Mmm. <laughs> you like it? I think I could eat this every day. <laughs> <laughs> you won't have to. I have tons of other recipes that you will like. Does that mean we're possibly going to live together? Sure. If I have any say in it, you'll be here with me. <laughs> <laughs> in that case, I have an offer for you. I think we should start our own business. Uh, I don't know anything about all that. Uh, what kind of business? A salon. We'll start our own beauty salon, my dear. I have lots of clients who'll follow me there. I work <laughs> hard, and what else do I get? I'd like to be the boss, and the money will be ours. Well, minus the overhead, you're still talking... I've done the math, and it would be much more even considering the overhead. There will be something else in addition to the overhead, am I right? So what? Then we'll cope with it. <laughs> well, all right. I'll think about it. <laughs> I've come up with a name for the salon. What is it? Lilia. What is it? I'm sad, I forgot my truck. Well, ask your mom and she'll get it. Natash. What? Bring his truck when you come, please. Sure. Hey. Mm. Dad promised me a trailer. He'll buy it for you if he promised. When is he coming? Well, soon, but he's working now. Is this the one? Yeah! That one is Daddy's! Yeah, Zinka, I'll call you back. I'm sending Nadia and Misha to school. <laughs> what? Thanks for the warning. Can we go? No, 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 no. I'll take Misha myself. But what is the matter? I'm afraid Sergei will track you and steal Misha. Are you out of your mind? He's not here. He's here now. Zinka said that he's in town with Sashka. And he found a job. He's probably staying for good, but I'm curious. Why is he here? Here in the flesh. Did something happen? It did. Misha can get kidnapped. My husband's here. So I'm counting on you as my dear friend because Zena warned me. Please watch out. Hey, Misha can hear you. What makes you think Sergei is going to try to take him, huh? I don't want him to see Misha at all ever again. He left him, and that's the end. Look, my daddy's <laughs> What's here! What's up, bitch? <laughs> What's that? What did I just tell you, damn it? Get away hey, from kiddo. him! Hey, what are you doing? You nearly scared Misha to death. Am I not allowed to hug my own son? Look, I even brought him the trailer that he asked for. Stick that trailer up you know where for all I care, and make sure that the batteries are new and properly charged. If you come close to my son once again, I'll spend money and buy you those batteries myself. Do you hear me? I never knew there could be such happiness in the world. I'm also good at business. Business? Mm-hmm. Okay, but are you gonna do business at night here? But we can talk at least. <laughs> you wanna talk? Okay, we can talk. While you were away in Zarobino, I found a space for our salon mm -hmm. in downtown. The rent isn't as high as you'd think it would be. Come and I'll show you tomorrow. <laughs> That's not what I'm thinking about. Oh, no. I think I should find a good lawyer. A lawyer? Why would you need one? For my divorce. You'll get your divorce because it's the law. Uh, yeah, I know. But Natasha isn't going to let me see Misha. And that's why I need a good lawyer. A good one costs a lot. And we need all the money for our business right now. <sighs> you don't understand, Lilia. I need a judicial decision that will cover my meetings with Misha. Or I can't see him. Don't dramatize it. She's being mean now, but she'll calm down after a while. She'll fix her life, <sighs> and then she'll be happy if you start taking the kid from her. You don't know her. She holds grudges. 
but you were the one who chose to marry her, so get over it. But how can I? I have a son you with You have her. me, our business, and our future here. I mean more. Don't make me choose between you. <laughs> My Sergei, forgive me, please. I've dreamt of that salon for so long, and now I can't think of anything else. And you're completely right, and your son is more important. He's my child, not yours. I'm in love with you, so I'm going to love him too. And I know who you should ask for a good lawyer. Will beat her at her own game, believe me. <laughs> <laughs> what about the salon? Your son will be our very first customer. <laughs> <laughs> Why measure it? If there's pressure, I'm alive. If not, I'm dead. Mom, come on. We've measured it for the third time now. Will you please just keep quiet? What's the verdict? 180 by 110, just like I thought, so it's good you're down. Well, I should be there at court, you know, to help Natasha. Mom, it's enough. You're two steps away from a stroke. Hmm. All right, give me the pills, Nadia, and go to court for me. Oh, come on, Mom. It's going to end soon. There will be far more use if I stay here and sit with you. I mean, I've told you so many times that it's a half a pill a day. Mm. <coughs> no one invented pills for divorce yet. Your family life <coughs> is going to kill me soon. Look at your sister and use this as a lesson to choose your groom very wisely. Mom, I don't want to get married for a while. Mm -hmm. So when will you do it then? When you retire to celebrate it all at once? Well, there, mm. look at Natasha. <laughs> she waited for so long that there was only him left. You should marry your locals so that they'll be ashamed to leave you with a baby because the whole neighborhood would shame them if they took off. Well, our choices are quite limited. Are Slava and Valerica bad catches? They're fine, but not for me. They'll be off the market soon. You must hurry. Oh. So, it's all over. <laughs> hmm. I'm a happy, free woman now. So I suggest we celebrate it. But you know Mom cannot drink. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone can celebrate a wedding. An entire crowd gathers around. So what's wrong with celebrating divorce? Congratulations and gifts would even be more important. Mm. Let's drink this to cheer us up. Mother, <coughs> enough, all right? <laughs> Natasha, you tell her. A stroke is the last thing we need right now. Lie down, Mother. Lie down. I'll drink with Nadia. Oh. You my sister, or what? Without clanging like a funeral. So tell us, how was it? How was it? In the name of Russian Federation. Basically, don't live with your wife if you don't want to. It's really simple. No, it's really disgusting. I said that he left his actual wife for another woman, and he abandoned his child as well. Zinka testified as a witness on my behalf, too. And the judge still said I have to let Misha see the father. Ah, uh, so did he have any witnesses? How did he prove his right for the child? He brought a fancy lawyer in a suit with a tie. He was slinging so much mud. I mean, he has money for the lawyer. But he can't seem to send Misha an extra ten. Natasha, come on, what are you saying? He gives us enough and all of us live on it. Oh, we have another attorney. So he's good and I'm the bad one? Yeah, I'm so bad. I don't care about the outcome. He's not going to see his son. Listen, dear. Let's take Misha out of kindergarten. And I'll be here to watch over him. But huh? what if he comes here? He could do that. Let's get a dog, a mean one. We'll take Markovich's dog, it's wicked. It'll rip his pants and his girlfriend in a second. You're both crazy. Misha loves his father. <laughs> He'll stop seeing him and very soon forget him. Mm.
I thought that if he walked me home after the movie and we nearly kissed, it was in the bag. Then there would be a continuation, right? He acts like nothing happened. I mean, what? Why did he invite me? Perhaps he wanted to invite someone else, but I was just his last option. Didn't Slavka buy you the ticket? Well, yeah, he bought it. Well, Slavka told me that Valerka wanted to invite you. You would know. Anyway, how long are we going to discuss it? Just forget it uh -huh. already. Well, that's easy for you to say. If you know how to do it, you should write a study guide. They will publish a million copies and everything. How to kick out your affections. Nice and easy, 100% success. I'll forget Valerka and leave with you then. An easy way to get rich and go away. Yeah, that's a very easy one. Hey, what's hanging? What's up, girls? Where you been hiding at? What do you care? Actually, I don't, but the nurse, she sent me out here to find you. Why is that? Well, ladies, let's rewind to the beginning of our conversation. That's why I'm here. Guys, what if it's about me? Sorokina promised to complain about me. It took three attempts to take her blood. Her vein is so thin, it's not my fault. I entered the ward, and she grabbed my arm and said, Go out and find Nadia for me. All right, I'll go then. Wait, I'll come with you as a witness. A witness to what? Nothing has happened. She didn't do anything. <laughs> All right, let's go. Well, that's, that's a great testimony. Come in, please. Yes, I wanted to see Estomina. Masha, uh, you're free to I... go. I'll deal with you later. Go on, go. Nadia, what is going on with you? Please tell me. I won't tell anyone. Perhaps I could help you. Nadia, did you have a psychology course in school? I did. Okay. You should know that holding bad things inside is the way towards disease. Tell me. I know it all anyway. How can you know when nothing happened? Nadia, please, I have to know what is going on with you. You don't look like yourself. You've broken two thermometers in a week. You tipped over the stand, and yesterday, you even forgot where you were going. And also, you asked Masha where you should take it to. I'm sorry, I promise it won't happen again. Nadia, tell me, are you in love? No, I'm not in love. Come on, it's all right. You're a young girl, so is he nice? What love? I'm entering the medical university. I study and stay up until very late. I should be getting more sleep, but everything will be fine, though. Well, let's hope that's true. I mean, I don't know whether it's school or a boy but I need you to leave your problems at the hospital door. Mm-hmm. <sighs> and the wolf started hopping through the forest. He hops on one leg and jumps over the ditch. And then he hops on two legs and jumps over the bushes. Who invited you here? You're no one here now. You gave up your key he hops on three legs and jumps over the trees he sees. Stop. And when he's on his four legs, you know he reaches for the highest You're clouds. Here. If you loved Misha, you wouldn't have left home. You're just like a tomcat. I have the court's decision, and you're bound to let me in. I have a right to see my son. That's uh, not true. I don't have to do anything. Mom, stop. Let Sergey in because Misha's crying. Sergey is history. He should have thought of that. Natasha, lock the door or he'll kick me out of the way and come in. Oh, you're here? You bum. Tatiana, you shouldn't be separating a loving father from his son, all right? Misha uh, misses him. He's asking me all the time, when is his dad coming back? I told you I'm not letting you in. <laughs> Go away. Are you out of your mind? Let me in. Mom, please stop or your blood pressure will elevate. I'll die, or I won't let you in. I'll start fighting and you'll go to prison. <laughs> All right, Tatiana. This time you win. Nadia, thank you for your support. Tell Potapich that I love him, will you? And I'll never leave him. Dad, forget him. Are you hearing me at all, kid? No, I have a dad and he loves me. If your mother says you have no dad, then you don't have a dad. Do you hear me? Answer! Hey! Damn it, answer me! What are you doing? Stop torturing the child! He's not guilty of anything! If you keep on screaming and fighting, I will go to the court and tell them to give the child to Sergey. Daughter! But what are you saying? He's no one and she's your own sister! He's not a stranger to Misha because he is his father! 
Listen, you only scream and cause all the drama. Yeah, with his father, he'd read books and grow up to be a nobody. Can't you understand that Sergei, the father, loves Misha, and Misha loves and misses his dad as well? Who is he to miss him? Even though Misha's a little boy, he knows who really raised him <gasps> and who left him alone as well. And who has fun with other women. <sighs> I can't believe it. Is our salon really opening tomorrow? <laughs> Do you know how many times I've asked? How many? About eight or nine times. Katka said I should not wear a dress, but look like a businesswoman in a suit. What do you think? I think you'll look lovely, in a dress or in a suit. Have we locked the permit documents in the safe, darling? You locked it. I was by your side. Did we turn on the sign? Yes, we did. We stopped on the square on purpose to look at it. All right, I remember. The ribbon is getting cut tomorrow. We've prepared it. But we forgot the champagne. There will be champagne and drinks and chasers all in the cafe. But that's in the evening. What about the morning when we cut the ribbon? They'll break a bottle of champagne when they launch a ship, so I want you to break it on the handrail so it still is special. Isn't that a great idea? It is, but I won't be there. Why not? I won't be able to come. I'm going to see Misha. No, not tomorrow, please. We need to tie the balloons in the morning, and they're also bringing flowers for us for the shop. We've invited so many guests, I won't be able to manage without you. We've prepared everything. There'll be staff, the janitor, and the receptionist. They'll be there. You're gonna be fine, okay? Sergey, don't you understand? I really need you. Are you going there tomorrow on purpose? Lilia, please don't. I've been chasing that security officer for so long, and they made time for me, and if I'm not there, then I'll have to start from scratch. Where are you going? To the store to get champagne. You should go rest, and I'll go buy it. No, you go get some rest. What's tomorrow? The opening of some stupid salon, but you have to go and fight with your ex-wife. Rest up before your trip. There are three women in the house. My ex-mother-in-law, and the young one is my wife's sister. She's on my side, and, well, there's also my ex-wife, too, and she's shrill. But the law's on your side. But you didn't cope on your own anyway, did you? This can happen. Oh. I have a cynical outlook. People do so many things. They even set traps at times, sir. I know what traps mm. you mean, yeah. <laughs> this is what I mean by traps. Deal with this on your own. Oh, God, I can't stay here. Thanks anyway. Help me, please. Look, I can't get out. Hmm? <laughs> no, Vadim, stop. Not in front of the baby. It's easier said than done. Let's rock the baby and It's eat. like drinking vodka to me. You bye, can't bye, stop. Baby. <laughs> That's a drink, by the way. Mm. All right, then, mm -hmm. ladies. Mm. To you. Nothing could spoil you. Neither time nor alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Zin, is there someone in your bedroom? Huh? <laughs> no, there's no one. Ever since my husband left, it's very lonely there. Okay, cool. Can Natasha and I go get it on? Yeah, sure, I guess so. At least hey, somebody will, I am I right? <laughs> what are you doing? Hey now, what's with you? Are you nuts? Can't you see that I'm with the little kid today? <laughs> well, why'd you bring him? I had to. Sergei started coming around here. He sends security officers to get to us, and he himself walks around the fence. It's all right. I got a dog. Let him just come here. I must have Misha with me. I can't leave him alone. All right. Just let me have one more. And I'll go. Mm hmm Vadim, can you walk the kid and me home today? Sergei must be around. I don't want trouble. Let him see that his son has a new dad, and he's better than him. <laughs> All right. I'll walk you for safety. Just once. I don't want too often. Oh, now, Vadim, will walking hurt you? I like that I'm a free man. I don't like kids, and I don't want them. Therefore, if you're looking for a father for your rug rat, well, I'm not your guy. There are plenty of free women in the area. 
with no children or problems. Nadia. Sergey? Hello. Can you help me? Of course, can yes. Can you get Potapich out of the house so I can see him, please? He's not home, though. Natasha took him. I guess that they went over to Zinka's place. Well, I will try to do it if they don't come back too late. All right, I'll wait at Sashka's house. Mm-hmm. What? Are you leaving? I have to go... go and get some bread. You went to visit a friend? You didn't feed your child, hmm? I wonder if Zinka even feeds hers. You only want a party. Uh, there was no Borodinsky, so I got rye. <laughs> Natasha, what happened? My party days are over. Vadim wanted to dump me. <laughs> oh, thank God for that. He's not much of a treasure, so be glad. You'll meet another one. No, I won't, Mom. Vadim's right that nobody will want me with a child. It's all Sergei's fault. I didn't want to have a child. I didn't, and he made me. Natasha, listen, I have to say Mom, that... Mom, let me take Misha away so he doesn't hear. You'll take him where? Uh, uh for a walk. He's been on one. Um, uh, to the Ogorodnikovs. Wait, hang on, they live close by. What if Sergei is still here, waiting for me so he can pounce? He will stay here. And you better stop saying such things in his presence, do you hear me? I'll go out myself. To Masha's. Nadia, hello. Where's the kid? She didn't let me take him. Sergei will be upset. All right, he's waiting for you. Where are you going? I have work. I'm on the night shift. Mm. Where's Misha? I couldn't bring him. Can you bring him tomorrow? Other men are carrying him on their shoulders. He's going to forget me, I know it. I will try to bring him. Okay, and? She always keeps him by her side. She only wants to hurt you more. You can't even imagine it. I can imagine. And Sashka had a stash. But you don't drink. You don't drink either. People say it works. Why don't we try it? Come on. just wanted a family, especially a son. I was imagining how I would teach him to ride a bike and skate, to go fishing, and then he would grow up to be my height and we would talk and I'd make sure he had toys. 
And now I created another orphan, don't you understand? Nadia, wait. Why are you leaving? I woke up and... Did I hurt you? No, not at all. Nadia. Why'd you leave then? I don't get it. Uh, no, wait, I do. I shouldn't have done that. And yes, I'm guilty... Sergey, but you're not guilty of anything. You shouldn't be calming me down. I'm a grown man and I didn't think and... Uh, please forgive me if you can. You don't have to ask for forgiveness. I was the one who wanted it and I'm very happy because I've been dreaming of it. Goodbye now, Sergey. Oh, wait, hold on. Look at me. Is that the truth? It is. Everything is all right, and no one will know. Well, uh, perhaps I should walk you at least? No, no. I should go. It would be better for you to leave. 